So we're back with another cooking episode. I've got a recipe for you again, Bulgarian style. This recipe is from Petia's mum and it's Kisili Krastovici, otherwise known as gherkins for you and me. Now we're doing it from Cornish on today. So, first of all, I need to prepare myself. I need to put my new apron on. I want to say thank you to Susie Malasevich for preparing this apron for me and sending it to me. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, Susie. What you're going to need for this recipe, you need your gherkins. You're going to need some garlic, some dill, some vinegar. You're going to need some salt and sugar. You're going to need some jars. Now, typical Bulgarian style, you always save jars from things that you buy in the shop and then you save them and then you put things in there, you pickle things for the winter time. But there is also the opportunity to buy in shops and things like that. So I've got two pans of water here boiling. It's very important that if you're using old ones, even if you're using new ones, it's still important that you sterilize this. So we're just gonna boil this for a few minutes in super hot boiling water. Just put it in with the lid also. You get a couple of them going at the same time. Now I'm gonna put exactly how much you need for one jar in the description below. Now whilst we're waiting for them jars to sterilize, I have a small variation on uh, Petia's mum's recipe. Now with the garlic, I think the, the best way to release, because I absolutely love garlic, so I think the best way to release those flavors from the garlic, she said you don't do this, but I'm a chef, I've always got to change something up and I'm gonna check this out now. So I'm just gonna crush it a little bit, not too much. Just give it a little crack with the knife, like this. And then you get a little bit of salt and we'll sprinkle that salt on the top of all the garlic and this is gonna draw garlic flavor out and that's just gonna be even better. Garlic is, you cannot go wrong with the garlic. Don't put too much salt though, because we're gonna need the salt later. So while our garlic is marinating in the salt, releasing all them flavors, our jars are boiling to get sterilized. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we wash this Krastovica very well because they were bought from the market. It's still quite dirty. I'm just gonna throw them in the sink. So it looks like our jars and everything is ready. But we're not gonna throw this water away because later we're still gonna need that water. So there we go. Them are all clean. The garlic has been salted for about 10, 15 minutes. We're ready to start putting everything inside the jars and getting everything together. So I've got six jars at the moment, and that's just a total guess. Looking at it, it might not be enough. Now, you can put them in, depending on the size. You might need to cut them also in half, however you like. That is not gonna be Irre that's irrelevant for how, how the quality is going to turn out. So we just need to start now putting a couple of couple in, put a couple of pieces in. Now after you put the Cornish on in, you're going to take some dill. And now the important thing, you don't need to chop this, you just need to pick it. Pick it and put it in. Also, don't worry. Use the stems as well from the dill. This is where it is the most flavor actually. Then we're gonna take our garlic. I recommend about four pieces minimum per jar. So we're just gonna put that in. Then you're gonna pack some more Cornish on in. A little bit more dill. Pick it, nice and easy. And then you're gonna put in the vinegar. Now I'm using um, apple vinegar, apple cider vinegar, because it's typical Bulgarian. You can use any vinegar actually. And what you wanna do is you wanna fill it till about, we say two fingers, you know? It's about two fingers. So we're just gonna fill that in. Okay, now you can, if you want, also put mustard seed and coriander seed. Now this is not typical Bulgarian, this is more German style actually. 
um, and I kind of like it with this but seeing as these these are for Jana I'm not going to do that today so we're going to make it like a grandma does it you know so because that's it then next we need to get some water so we've got some filtered water here we're going to put that in we're going to fill it right to the top So next, for the salt and the sugar, what you need, you need a teaspoon. Now you're gonna take a level teaspoon. Now it needs to be pretty much level, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit too much, but pretty much level, just pop it in. There goes the sugar, and there's the salt. Then we're gonna take the lid. Now the lid, I mean you can get machines that are gonna do it for you, but because of what we're gonna do in our next step, we don't actually need to do this. All you need to do is put it on and really, really tighten as much as you possibly can. I would recommend you take a towel and really, really squeeze it on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil these jars for 10 minutes, which is gonna get everything activating and also is gonna seal the top. So when that water is boiling, I'm going to pop them in and then we're going to boil this for 10 minutes and this will help like I said to start the fermentation to start the process and also to seal that lid so you can keep this for years to come we just got to wait now So that's it after the 10 minutes of boiling i like to sit in the water just to cool down for another hour or so just to be sure and that's it easy as that after a month you can start to eat them usually we're going to leave them another couple of months while we get to winter so if you like the mashni kisily crastivity then don't forget to give me a thumbs up them homemade gherkins are amazing if you want to see me make some mixed pickles Bulgarian style, which there is two ways, fermentation or pickle, then write in the comments below. Also, if you want me to do some sauerkraut, some sour cabbage, Bulgarian style, then write in the comments below and I will do videos for that also. If you're loving this Bulgarian food, if you like it, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up, that's very important for this video, and come and check out this playlist here which is all about Bulgarian food. I've got some recipes there and I've got some great videos to do with Bulgarian.